was born in the year 1921. Yeah, sure, go ahead with that one. What a good year. 18 seconds. Mine started. RP to M. Gameplay footage captured on various platforms at various stages of development. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Mercer here. Matt Mercer? Matt your host of Square Enix Presents. Today, we have a special E3 edition. Now I have started. With new game announcements, updates, and exciting news from our studios. Gameplay footage the globe. captured on various platforms. So let's kick off with the world premiere of a brand new game from IDOS Montreal. Hi, man. I hope you enjoy the show. Where Enix, Eidos, my Montreal. I am so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? God, freaking chat's moving so fast, it's lagging everything. Come on! Oh, they make the what? They're making a fucking Guardians of the Galaxy game? Yeah. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No, Rock. Oh, he looks. About this. He looks you weird. Did you not, Chris? Pa Chris? So we got Evans? Fine. You mean Wait, no. Pratt? <laughs> Pratt. What about Hemsworth? Really need a plan. His helmet looks sick, though. It looks like a fucking Legion helmet. Wait, is this the song I think it is? Did I need to mute it? Yeah, it is. I need a hero. Yeah, that's an easy mute. Easy claps. What other game? Another game used this during the Summer Games Fest, didn't it? Need a hero. Gamora looks... Everyone looks sick. I just don't like his face. The song's still playing. You had one job, Will. I did exactly what... Oh my, the song starts again. It's 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 Guardians of the Galaxy. There's gonna be eighties tunes the entire time. Yeah, an unstreamable game. Groot looks crazy. He looks like Bigfoot kinda. I mean they have the technology to make the broadcaster mute the music and let you listen to it. They've had the technology since frickin' GTA 5. The broadcaster? We don't use a broadcaster, Sedge. Well, I would use it for this. It probably won't work. It only works on GTA. I don't know why. No, no, of course I will. Oh, they have the technology. That looks cool, but they didn't show what the Hi, game was at all. Ipu, senior producer here at Eidos Montreal. This is just like a third-person shooter. We've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and reimagine it into a single-player, story-driven, third-person okay. action adventure yeah. game. <laughs> it's our own fresh take on the Guardians, and something that's really unique to our game is that you get to be Peter Quill. As Star Lord, you're Man, I'm watching from Square in Enix official of channel action, now too, and as you try to leave this schedule. band of misfits. But today, hey. I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey. And you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. All right, let's do this. I've always loved Marvel's I'm worried that this is going to uh, turn into an Avengers I read them, situation. Them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write oh, you can only play Marvel on some Star of their Cosmic Lord, titles. I, went back I know, but I'm just Roseman, the editor, nervous about Marvel games now. Characters from Marvel's past. The opportunity here was to build a team, but to make it all underdogs. So that the reader would think, oh my gosh, how is this team going to survive? And that became the Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which we loved working on. I remember the first time that the Marvel crew came to Montreal, we were My showing them captures the design are in of the German. characters, how they would look, Sick. and they stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head, it was a minute. Was like, oh God, your like, comic guardians. We realized how much that Marvel and I don't looks really cool. have in common. Like, I'm into the group design. We knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Bardos were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. 
What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the guardians are constantly around you and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the guardians will also challenge you and make decisions on their own and you will have to adapt to it. You are literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The decisions you'll make will have lighthearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. Gamora, no killing teammates! Says who? It's literally in your contract! I made no such commitment. I made no well, such commitment. You're playing as Star-Lord, and you're using your blasters, and you're using your jet boots. Star-Lord is really empowering. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has his elemental blasters that have different powers as well. And on top of all of this, he can use the unique abilities of his guardians. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Gardeners of the galaxy? Over. No. The story is about a group of misfits, the guardians. In our world, they've been together for Less I was expecting year, it to be the place where the Guardians something but... on a small scale that looks insignificant. And yeah, I'm, I'm interested in this. It's just I, I'm too hurt. I've really been hurt too many times. The galaxy. There are a lot of with literally Avengers. Yeah, it hurt me too bad. They had the coolest concept that you could possibly have, story, and then they're like, "Yeah, but you get there's to like get six missions and replay them over and over." The best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well known, but some that are also not all that well known. What Otto is getting so right about them is capturing what it's like to be a misfit family. They're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're going to see planets and characters that are going to blow your mind. Interpreting it in its own way, I think, makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make the best version of Guardians hey, out of that. They made it fun. They made it rock and roll. They delivered everything you would want in a Guardians game. Ah, music! It's called Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. Maybe it'll be a Spider-Man situation where it becomes a big thing. PlayStation prompts used as demonstration only? What does that even mean? Maybe they're playing it on a PC and they got an Xbox, a PS4 controller to keep our ship put in there. Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. What about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always a My out on us, figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. And you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. I will sacrifice your head. And take us to the majestic mountains yeah, of Kakarot. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am You know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that. Gamora has the Good claw man. boots so that Raiden has. We could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. <laughs> I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? <laughs> definitely well, scarier on the inside. scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of this ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. We're flying the wrong way. No, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. Castle isn't even that far. That is not a 
castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! Wow. <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. <laughs> Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. Of course you'd have it written on his jacket. No oh, it's Star-Lord? Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. You know what I like about this? This looks like a video game. This doesn't look fake in any way. Like it's not like too good looking. Like you see their feet clip into the rocks and stuff. Oh, a saving icon. <laughs> Is everyone okay? We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, it's the mute cube from uh, uh Gears of War. Survive freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little black. It's not alone. Get ready. What are these things? They are amorphous. It's more like a jumping cube. I feel like those voice callouts are gonna get old real quick. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Dead end. That's just great. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. Wait, what do you not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. <laughs> Put me down. He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No. Very well. Peter. It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Ooh. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! I am not familiar with these words. What are the I am not familiar with these words. Come on, man. It, fast face. Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, shot again. Wait, hear that? Uh, guys. I got it. Now I should raise infinity with you. More meat cubes. These creatures are perfect predators. This is running real rough. I don't know if it's the stream or if that's the game. It's running fine from my seat. Like the frame drops on when he's shooting shit is rough. You have a super? Oh, la, 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 la. Yeah, this is an unstreamable game. Unless you can just turn music off, I guess.
<laughs> they add a streamer mode and it's just like ambient music <laughs> when you do a super. Look at all that Change. loot. Go pick it up. The point of even getting the flark and was looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. Oh, what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. <laughs> Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? Copyright music. The current climate ruins Saints Row 3 playthroughs. Because this is the best part of Saints Row 3, just having this music play where you're racing to save your friends. And you even... You just have to turn it off. I am Groot. I am Sarge. Rocky, what are you doing? Ah! I just have to keep muting it over and over. Ah, the joy of streaming things that you haven't vetted beforehand. Remember the days when you could just, like, fucking stream a video? Is that Cassandra from Odyssey? Wow, that soon? Another October game. So many skins. Now we're going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. First up, relive the classic one I care games about in the, the Final Fantasy pack series, the one and then Rocket. get one more peek at yeah, Legend of Mana cool. ahead of its Friggin June twenty fourth launch. Raccoon thing in a suit. He's a, he's a raccoon yakuza. Raccoza. Raccoon ka. I assume I'm allowed to play his music. And mobile. PS4, Switch, and Steam, because fuck Xbox.
Is there anything Final Fantasy on Xbox? Up next, Earth's mightiest heroes continue their fight to defend the world in Marvel's Avengers. The team at Crystal Dynamics is excited to share the latest updates with you, including new mission types and a growing roster of heroes. A growing roster of microtransactions. Avengers, secure that super weapon at all costs. Every second counts, people. Keep it moving. It's beautiful. Oh, hey, remember that, Matt? You're out of your depth. Shutting you down, Monica. Even people that love this game stop playing the game. Because there's no reason to play the game. Aim will save this game. I will save it. There is no end. This comes. You don't understand what that cube is capable of. There's so many clones. Fight 20 of them. Man, look at all these robots that we fought like a year ago. They're the same robots you're fighting in a new expansion in a different universe. Good times. But look at all the new heroes that you need to buy $10 season pa battle passes for. Wasn't Spider Man supposed to be out? Yeah. It's supposed to be a PS5, PS4 exclusive, or PlayStation exclusive, who has seen and they never put him in there. I, must I assume because Chadwick Boseman died, the they path. did him instead. About to walk down. Yo, that Black Panther suit is sick, though. It's kind of like a Batman suit. Ah, music, rap! Why? Even my Avengers is not safe. From DMCA. That is a sick suit, though. That's cooler than the movie suit. That's not a great suit. Yeah, but it actually has depth, and it's not just one thing. It's almost like a slimmed down Iron Man suit. And then you see them and you remember this is for Marvel's Avengers. Yeah, like this looks so cool. And then it's like, yeah, but by the way, you're just going to be fighting the same five people over and over. Why not? There's this guy. There's some spider robots. Well, they're actually doing giant crazy claw, man. Like, Sonic Claw? I don't know what he's called. Ah, oh, rap music, yes. Continue. Uh, included at no additional cost, unless you want literally anything now else. Now it's time to give mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be available in the coming months. Wow, mobile players, I can't Good wait. Evening, 426. Our intelligence reports a new threat to global stability. Their reach is unlike anything we have seen before. Following Agent 47's disappearance, my phone can't you were selected run. because of your remarkable skills. Execution must be perfect. He's got an armband. From He's the evil. shadows. And they will never know what hit them. Is that a multiplayer sniper game for mobile? Hey, it's a near. Sad and beautiful tale that echoes throughout eternity. The first mobile entry in the Nier series. There it is. Nier mobile only Nier game. Now I'm on the Nier game. It actually looks alright, too. It doesn't even look like a bad game. It's also canon, so you gotta play it. For the next Nier game. That's totally not canon, but is 
kind of Free Tenic summons up to seventy summons. See, it's not rude for me to look at my phone during the mobile section. <laughs> Today, the team at Platinum Games is giving you an exclusive look at the epic go. world of Babylon's Fall, featuring fluid combat, powerful weapons, and a unique art style. Platinum Abyss. Built over a thousand years, it was meant to be a tower of dreams. But for a thousand more, it was seen as a tower of ruin. Persevering through fire and ice and the coldest of winds, Eventually the tower became I can't tell if this is like really jagged looking ambition. game or if it's just the stream. That tower's name is Babylon. Baby Lon. As they're doing this, they're adding the, tra the trailer separately. <laughs> Sephiroth! <laughs> like, what? It's pretty close to Sephiroth, to be honest. Die, I'll die for hope. So, is this a co op platinum game? Because there's four people doing stuff. Like, this is the game Godfall was supposed to be. Music's on point as always, though. We're all prisoners of our subjective reality. Unless those are AI. I doubt it, though. Believe only what you see, and you're like to end up seeing only what you believe. Ascend to the heaven above the tower of that... fall like this one now the Dumbledore before you now begins its tale of both hope and despair I don't know how to feel about that PS5 PS4 and Steam yeah they don't I'm like still Xbox on... I just now got to Gandalf <laughs> プレスゲームズは本当にあのアクションの部分に関してはもちろん yeah, so you can play it with four people. ま、ただ I wonder if they made the art style really like low res so they can rock it at 60 for four players on screen. So they went with like a low res kind of art style. 
変わってきますハイファンタジー感というかその上品さというところはすごい意識してくれというふうに言われましたねカープンチックにならないのか読むというか、まあ、リアルに本当に存在している人たちがいるかのような感じは意識しましたこのゲームは運営型のゲームとして開発しています発売後も定期的に新しいコンテンツを提供する予定ですようやく皆さんに改めてこういった形であの発表できたのと本当に私たちも嬉しくなってますしまさにこれから開発の過境になっているので精一杯頑張っていきたいと思います皆さんも応援よろしくお願いいたします<笑>ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ I guess I need to mute that. They didn't even add good, good textures. As MXM Tune. I'm a musician and the singing voice of Alex Chen in the upcoming Life is Strange True Colors. I hope you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the remastered collection. As a longtime fan, I know I did. You can see the love and care that Deck Nine have put into remastering both Life is Strange and Before the Storm. This collection features improved character animation, lip sync, and visuals, I hate when breathing new life into these they have like a character and then the character doesn't Back actually March, sing, they hire somebody else. The next major game yeah. The series. And then you're like, that's strange, not true. Her voice. See, that's why Yakuza 7 is so good because they just make the people sing the karaoke songs and they're so bad. It's amazing. Secrets of Haven Springs. Today, we have a first look at Alex's unique power in action. Here's game director Zach Garris for more. Alex's psychic power of empathy is integral to the story of Life is Strange True Colors. It impacts every relationship she builds and every decision she makes. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. For years, Alex has been unable to shut out the strong feelings of others. The fear, sadness, and anger of those around her Leading her to I'm believe gonna go back to playing her Storm power is a curse. In a small window in the side. In the wake of Gabe's death, Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth is to embrace her power. I can't believe this is happening. And the only way to understand is to Are feel they eventually going to have an Avengers game where they take all the powered people From they've the made start, and put them in you one? You can use Alex's power to focus on brightly colored auras to gain an insight into people's emotions. Gabe was too just too young. These valuable insights deepen Alex's relationships with the folk of Haven Springs, as well as sparking new dialogue options and events, as here from a scene very early on in the game. You're gonna lose her. 
You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. Alex has uncovered a secret that Mac wants to keep hidden from his long-term girlfriend. And now he is terrified that Alex will reveal it before he can talk to Riley. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. Mac's telling you a whole lot of bullshit. Listen. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. But are we still together? Are you serious? I need to get back to work. Sure, Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. When Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, she can reach out to actively connect with that person's emotions. This generates a nova, a supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can experience fragments of thoughts and memories to get to the root of their issue. But not every emotional crisis can be easily dealt with. It's pretty Some interesting. carry a dangerous, even life-threatening amount of power. He's dead! I wish I were too. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. This anger could kill her. What if I could just take it away? Using Alex's power is the only way you can uncover the truth behind her brother's death. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? How far will you go in pursuit of that truth? The choice is yours. Alex's cool. powers look so awesome. I have no idea how I'll make some of these choices, but I can't wait to play it with you all when it comes out on September 10th. Don't forget, you can pre-order Life is Strange True Colors now. And if you choose the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. And that's it for today. Make sure to follow the Life is Strange social channels The thing I really appreciate about that is they showed her in like five different outfits. It's not like you wear one outfit the whole game, like weird games nowadays do. Or like when cartoons, when someone wears one thing and that's it. You don't ever change their clothes. Boruto. Naruto. Nobody changes their clothes until the time skips. And yeah, I was going to say, until you get your age indicates what clothes you wear. From Square Enix Japan. Wait, why is there a Square Enix Japan? Isn't Square Enix just Japanese? They've got American branches. Yeah, but why not call it Square Enix chaos. America? That's my mission. Team Ninja! Oh, it's the Final Fantasy Dark Souls game! Chaos has been waiting for us. You gonna make us go in there and find you? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. Hey, Tetsu Nomura, can you be working on the new thing. Naruto? I mean, I the new... Kill chaos. I need to. It's not a hope or a dream. It's Team Nomura. Ha <laughs> Thirst. Move aside. I mean, so far, this isn't very Dark Soulsy. It's just kind of an action game that's in Final Fantasy. You sure chaos is here? Yeah, they can only squash monsters for so long. I hate doing pest control. This is the Shrine of Chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. I'm edgy male protagonist. I've tested well, so I'm the main character. This is it. No doubt. Die already! There was a knight who left on the same journey as you. Let me know, catchphrase! I like how he's right in the middle. They have like... A an anime kid, then a super gruff dude, and then like the middle space marine man. Okay, Makoto. We're here to kill chaos. It's me, very own the Green Arrow. I mean, Hawkeye. He always Wait, is there a difference? Splendid nope. Armor with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. It's well, yeah, Hawkeye's. No. Funny? I 
become chaos. <laughs> Wait, that's fucking Vegeta. They got Vegeta as the main bad guy. AKA All Might. I am to become chaos. Demo available soon on PS5. I'll leave you with I a just look love at that amazing that Square Enix titles you can play translation. now. I am well to become to I am to be chaos. <laughs> oh hey, it's that thing. Don't look sad. Spoilers. News, just hit me with it. I'm gonna drop plate number seven. They're gonna do what? Oh no, I'm looking. Is that it? Oh yeah, Forspoken. That's a game. joining us today. Keep an eye out for news about our next Square Enix Presents. I'm Matt Mercer. See you next time. I like how I got more excited for this than I did during the whole Xbox One, and it was for a quote-unquote Dark Souls-like Final Fantasy game. Both things I don't play, <laughs> but that's the thing I got hypest for. I'm Matt Mercer. I'm everywhere, along with Troy Baker here. And Nolan North, who's never anywhere now. I don't know where he is anymore. He doesn't need to do anything. He has the money. Is the... Uh, reply. Is the DMCA free link out yet? <laughs> wow. DMC free. Alrighty, thanks for watching, everybody. That was a cool one. I appreciate it. Let me know what you thought of the E3 reactions. And I don't know if I'm going to be reacting to any more of them. We already know it's at the Capcom one, so it's not like they're going to be like, DMC sex. No, they said, it's, they said what they're going to show. So until next time, greasy PCs.